Peace, my name is Kanisha, and I recently started doing offerings for events. So pretty much we'll have drum circles, yoga vendors, and we also do healing conversations, just pretty much to create a network of people, a community of people to all to come together that have like minds and raise our vibrations. <laughs> and what about you, Kay? Peace, I'm Olu. I create custom crowns for the culture. I create a headspace. I create a space where we can be our cultural self and represent our best, highest self through movement, sacred movement of yoga, comedic yoga, and ancient African drum. And how did y'all meet? How do we meet? We met at a, what would that, what'd you call that? Like an event? And he was vending crowns and I purchased the crown from him, 2021. Yoga and vibes. Oh yeah, yoga and vibes. Yeah, racial vibrations. Yeah. <laughs> did y'all click right away, or did you feel the synergy, or did, what was the process of getting to know each other? The process of getting to know each other, just support. We were supporting each other for what first two years of our friendship because I was selling laundry detergent at the time. You were selling crowns and just seeing each other out in the community. Yeah. I felt the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> So you knew right away. <laughs> I felt the vibes. <laughs> What's one of your favorite things about her? Her smile, for sure. Her beautiful spirit. Delightful soul. <laughs> What's one of your favorite things about him? He's super talented. He's super creative. Like, I'm always amazed at what he comes up with. So I love seeing, like, just his mind and him alchemizing into, like, his crowns and his other offerings as well, his drums and yoga. Yes. And what's one of your favorite experiences that y'all have had together? So many. Probably Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun in Puerto Rico. Overall, for sure. Overall, yeah. A lot of good experiences. Yeah. Oh, tell me about the comedic yoga. How is it different than the more traditional, like, Indian-based yoga? Okay. <laughs> Comedic yoga is chronologically can be viewed as more ancient than the practice of Hatha yoga. Maybe some of its origins are derived from this practice, which is actual living embodiment of the ancestors as they inscribe it on the walls of the pyramids in ancient Kemet. So they were embodying a divine godhood in them. So as we impart this practice, we're the living ancestors, the living embodiment of the God within us. So this practice connects through the body, mind, spirit, to create our highest unified togetherness, which is yogis, all of us together in one. And we do this in a practice that's very meditational, intentional, and a ritual that we honor our highest self. And you just finished your yoga teacher training, right? Yes, yes. Basu Olu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I practice this portion of a system of comedic yoga is known as Jeff Sima Pout Netaru, which is divine movement with the gods and goddesses. So this practice was brought to me by a teacher here in Atlanta, Neta Ank Aku. And he's around, he's very accessible. This training was online where we completed 100 straight days of this practice. And we met virtually through to check up and keep up and be taught up and raised up in the practice. And at the end, we ended in a grand ceremony here in Atlanta where we all met in person. So I'm Basu Olu. Um, I'm available for offerings now. Yeah. And you got your own classes, right? Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Yeah, we're starting up. We're going to do Saturday Risings, 9.30 a.m. Session 90 minutes, which will be drum, yoga, more drums, meditational sound healing drum, as well as African djembe, indigenous instrument. And we're also planning these events bi-weekly. Also a Wednesday evening, Stone Mountain hike and comedic yoga meditation, mountain meditation at the top. We do that for ourselves and bigger for the city at whole and the community. Thank you, brother. Thank you. And Kanisha, I know you just started your event series. Yes, yes. Soul Smile Presents. And you're helping people just go deeper into their healing journey. So yes. if people are newer to 
the type of healing that you're offering, like how would you help them ease into that? Pretty much everything that I use. I'm teaching people tools. So each event I'll have different forms of yoga and different vendors as well. Through clean eating, raw foods, we have raw food vendors, through just all natural products and teaching people that everything starts inward. If they want to heal themselves, whatever the issue is, it all starts with you. So teaching people how to love themselves and go more inward as well. Yes. That's beautiful. Yes. Don't need anything outside of yourself. Mm. Say that one again. Yes, you don't need anything outside of yourself. You in this moment is enough, so just reaffirm, helping people to remember that. Yeah. They are a beautiful sight to see all this Thank melanin. You. Thank you. I say good things. <laughs>